Now, here's a question for you this morning. What would you do if your five-year-old son was enduring months of violent bullying at the hands of another child at school? Well, after witnessing an altercation, one mother decided to confront her son's bully. She's since been banned from her son's school because she spoke to that pupil. Christine and her son, Arthur, are with us now. Morning. Morning, Arthur. Morning. morning. How are you doing? All right. Have you had a good morning? <laughs> now then, it's lovely to see you both this morning. Uh, Christine, just explain a little bit about what happened. Well, my son had been coming home every day saying, um, every evening saying, you know, um, I've been hit in the playground, Ooh. mummy. I reacted, I suppose, as any normal mother. I was rather upset. Um, I said, well, you must tell the teacher. And that went on for weeks and weeks. You must tell the teacher every time you're hit. Um, then it went on and he said, you know, I'm really being hit very badly, mummy. So I went and spoke to the teacher. She said, don't worry, I'll sort it out. Again, it went on. I spoke to the head teacher. She said, you know, we'll do a monitoring thing. Um, still happy. nothing happened, and it went on for weeks and weeks. And I attended a part... I, again, kind of dismissed it and played mm -hmm. it down in my mind, thinking, well, maybe it's high playground jinx. I emailed all the mothers. Um, one said to me, um, well, boys will be boys. You know, if you can't handle it, why don't you find another school? So I thought, well, you know, maybe I'm making too much of this. You know, maybe it is just, you know, a slap. And, you know, maybe that's what boys have to go through sure. in the playground. And then I attended a party and I saw this boy. Actually, it was like Rocky Balboa literally coming up and going, you know, punching very, very hard and then backing off with the footsteps. And he's karate. They, you know, this child mm -hmm. goes to karate, coming forward chest and he's asthmatic as well and I was literally horrified and I was frozen to the spot mm. another mother came in and yep yeah, two other boys attacked him from the back one was going like that on his back and I was literally horrified by, the, by this attack and um, I told one of the boys off and I said you know you can't hit my son like this it's been going on you know I'll report it and what did he say so what I said I'll tell your parents and he's so how old is he five Goodness me. Quite dominant. And this was at a party? Yeah. So were there other parents there? Did they yeah, see it happen? Yeah, they were. Yes, they saw it happen. And afterwards, I wrote a letter um, to all the parents, and I said, you know, what I've seen has really upset me. Please, will you help me in this? Gather together and let's sort this out. You know, it's a child. Well, it's my child or anybody else's child. Sure. It's a child suffering. And um, I showed it to the head and said, I'm going to give it out to all the mothers after school. She says, I urge you not to give this out. Um, we'll sort it out. It's a very powerful, very emotional letter. You know, we really don't want this kind of thing given out around the school. School. And I think the reputation of the school was put above a child. Um, from your point of view, Arthur, what, what, what did you think of a school? Did you like going to school? Not really, because these boys were bullying you. And, and was this going on for a long time? So, now, you, you actually, at some point, though, Christine, you decided that, that you'd had enough and you saw the child that was doing the bullying. Yeah, what went on, my son had been saying it all week and I approached the, um, the child's au pair and I said, listen, you know, he's um, hitting Arthur every day. I said, can we do something about it? She goes, he's a good boy, he wouldn't do that. And I said, well, is my son lying? And she said, well, he must be, and walked off. And I was left sort of... And it was two days later that um, I, I saw my son. I said, have a good day. And he looked and he said, I'm really scared to go in there, Mummy. And I, he looked so sad that something within me sort of said, you've, got to, you've really got to do something. You know, I'm quite a strong person. Mm -hmm. I worked for the News of the World as an investigative journalist for 10 years. You know, what other mother who isn't as strong as me, you know, might not have been able to do it. So I said, right, let's go in and talk to the teacher. I went in the class. It was 9 o'clock. There was nobody around. And I thought, oh, no, the teacher's not there. And I saw this child just sitting by the door. And I had he been sitting over maybe back, I wouldn't have, you know, even dreamed of it. But he was so near me. And I had my son by the hand. And I thought, well, I'll crouch down. And and I said, you know, you really mustn't hit Arthur. It, you know, it's really wrong. And the child looked back at me, you know, with intelligent eyes. He said, OK, I won't. And I thought, fantastic. Massive problem for months and months has been solved, you know. And I stood up and this assistant teacher came running and she said, you can't do that. What do you think you're doing? And I'd already mm -hmm. finished, you know, it had been done. And um, my son said the child was happy after. Nobody, you know, was upset. Hauled me off to the head. And uh, the head was initially sympathetic she, to me. And um, the, um, the, the assistant teacher said, you did nothing wrong. She said, you acted from your heart. And um, I went home. Then at 6 o'clock, I was telephoned. And the mother of the child in question had complained. And she said, I I'm banning you. So I have to stand outside the school. So you've actually now been banned from dropping Arthur off into the classroom. Okay. Um, we did speak to uh, uh, the school and asked if they'd like to comment. And they, they didn't want to come on the sofa, but they did offer this statement. The Orleans Infant School, they turned down the chance to appear on the school. Um, they did say that they, uh, having spoken to the head teacher, she told us that the uh, 2007 Ofsted report gave them an outstanding grade for the care of their children. 
A statement went on to say, we do not have a particular problem with bullying. From time to time, issues do arise, as happens in schools. And when they do, we take it very seriously. We have a bullying policy in place, which is strictly adhered to in all instances. Now, you said that you approached the school in a number of circumstances. Mm. Um, and clearly, well, it seems to they you... They denied it and they denied it and they denied They denied it. that you'd actually approached them? No, they denied that there was a there problem. There was a problem. What do you make of that statement, then? I think it's, um, it's the reputation of the school at... It, they're betraying the child, basically. And as an investigative journalist, I've got the backing of the media, I've been in the media a long time, mm. and I'm going to keep investigating this. And I've spoke to other mothers at that school whose children have been bullied, and they said, you know, is it because my child has a lisp? You know, how horrible that a mother has to sit with that. And I'd like other mothers to come forward and contact me with their, not the sh this school, but other schools, and I want to fight this. You know, it's the reputation of the school and children are being betrayed yeah. and denied. Well, Christine, thanks for coming and, and sharing your story. I've been chatting to Arthur all this morning, and he's clearly a lovely, very bright, inquisitive young lad. It's nice to meet you, Arthur. Arthur, <laughs> bye-bye. You have a nice summer. Bye. See ya. Uh, and and, and um, best of luck with everything that happens. Thank you very Good much. to meet you. Thank you.